So, guys, Elon Musk sat down recently with the Full Send podcast and discussed Starlink in some great detail. Firstly, while discussing Starlink on the podcast, he explained how many satellites are currently in operation and how many they plan to have in the future. You guys know what the Starlink is? Of course. Have you seen that? Yeah. Wow. yeah. I, I feel like it's not talked about enough. I, I agree. Starlink should be talked about. So, so Starlink is... Uh, space-based internet. So we've got, we've got a constellation of satellites. Uh, we've got uh, now well over 2,000 satellites. Um, we'll soon have about 4,000 satellites. So we'll have, we, have, we have more satellites in operation than the, than the rest of Earth combined. Really? Yeah. Than any and, other and single this, company? Than, and, than the rest of Earth. Oh my God. Yeah. And then Elon addresses the waitlist and explains the reasons behind the waitlist that we have for Starlink currently. A waitlist you'll be very familiar with if you're currently in it. Is most. it available like now? Or there's a long wait list, right? Yeah, Starlink is available now at starlink.com. <laughs> but I heard there's like list. a long wait list. There's a wait list if you're in like a high density area. Okay. So um, the Starlink is really best suited if you're in like a, the sort of countryside or kind of like low population areas. It's like you could be... That's perfect though. Yeah, for places that don't have internet. Rural um, America. Yeah, basically rural America um, and like relatively sparsely populated areas um but uh the, the, so the wait the starlink wait list is just if you're in a area that's where there's already too many starlink terminals and we don't want to saturate that area because that'll um reduce people's uh, internet speeds so um in order to uh be able to service more people in that area we need to launch more satellites so we launch more satellites almost every week so we're, we're aiming at the next 12 months, probably do 60, 70 launches, maybe more. Wow. And next, Elon goes on to explain how Starlink has helped Ukraine recently in its efforts against Russia, and also then shares his thoughts on the recent Brittany Griner situation. You've been supplying uh, for Ukraine. You've been helping the internet there, right? Um, yes. It's been successful? Yes. Were you hesitant at all from any negative backlash from Russia? Well, I... I should probably not visit Russia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any, you, you tweeted any, something about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yo, what? I mean, it's probably unwise. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, look what they did with the basketball player. Right? <laughs> yeah. I know, just for a vape yeah. pen, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, did you see what Trump said recently about her? Uh, no, but I was like, man, if, if um, you know, if, if the President's working so hard to to sort of free someone who's in, in jail in Russia for some some weed. Then shouldn't we free people That's what Joe in America? Just said. I saw that. Who? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that absolutely. Was, Joe Rogan like, said like that. Yeah. People in jail in in America for the same shit. For the same stuff. Shouldn't shouldn't we free them too? Uh, it seems crazy. like something that's legal in so many states right now, as well. It's not I, mean, like, I, th I think it's like for. It's, it's not. I mean, my opinion is that people should not be in jail for nonviolent uh, drug crimes. Crazy. I agree with that. Yeah. We were just 100%. talking about that too. Elon then speaks about the backlash he received after smoking on the Joe Rogan experience. Remember when you smoked weed on Joe Rogan? Did yeah, you get like, like a lot puff, of backlash you know? for that? I did get a lot of backlash because it's like still federally illegal. Yeah. <laughs> so um, no, it was pretty nutty actually. I had to, well, because, you know, uh, so I had, to, <laughs> I had to have like random drug tests and stuff after that to prove that I'm not like a drug addict. Really? Yeah. By who though? Who gives you the random Even drug for weed? The, the federal government, like like because SpaceX has a federal government contract. So, okay. Um, and it's still illegal federally. So like like the SpaceX, you know, competitors were like, hey, look at it. Why aren't you doing anything? You know, look at him smoking, <laughs> just like brazenly smoking weed on, yeah. uh, on Joe so Rogan's podcast. So they even podcast. drug test you for weed? Yeah, the drug test me for everything. Okay. So <laughs> was, did you that uh, randomly? Well, like, happy that it is. I, I, I couldn't like it wasn't like you know, pick pick a day because you know. So I, there was like <laughs> I had, yeah. like a whole year of random drug tests. Did was, you just make that decision on the spot, or did you like no? Like I mean, you must have known you were going to get some backlash, right? I didn't think I didn't think I'd get that much backlash. You know, it's sort of like um, I mean, I thought everyone thought it was cool as so, fuck. Like that was yeah. the dopest if thing. If you follow like, Elon well, Twitter. It, yeah, I mean, they're, 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 I, I, the consequences for me and for SpaceX were actually not good uh, because it's because it's federally illegal and SpaceX has federal contracts. Uh, and then, you know, so uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it wasn't just me, but the, the whole company, the whole of SpaceX had to have random you drug tests. Oh, my God, bro. It's hilarious. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't, sorry, I didn't realize it would 
be this big of a deal. Um, Some people must have been sweating. That's so funny. Just over I mean, one joint. Like, did you have to like walk into a boardroom and everyone's just grilling you? And you're like, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was like, uh, you know, I think to bear in mind, like, you know, some people are still pretty uptight about these things. You I know. know. Um, like, it's older people, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It didn't I, even I look like, like you puffed on it. Sorry? It didn't even look like you were No, like I don't even, I'm like, not even, I don't even know how to smoke a joint, obviously. You just look at me, I'm like, have no joint smoking skills. Yeah. You know? Um, well, that's but, what you acted like on camera. No, I mean, seriously, I, I mean, I just, you know, um, you know, I, I find weed is like not that good for productivity. So I'm like, you know, well, I'm not going to, as I do actually have to make the rockets work and the cars work and make the factories work and mm-hmm. stuff. So, And then he finally rounds things off, explaining how Starlink satellites get launched differently now to when they did day one. So are the, are the Starship launches, those are directly with the Starlink or no? Yeah. Those are sending the satellites uh, well, up the, into orbit? So the Falcon 9 rocket that we launch right now is, is what, is able to launch the Starlink version one satellites, or technically we're on version 1.5, going to version 1.6. Um, and they're still pretty big satellites. Um, before they unfold, they're like the size of a sort of a small compact car. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, then the Starlink two satellites are like, w- you know, way bigger than a pickup truck. They're like seven, sort of seven meters long. Um, so the Starlink 2 satellites are too big to be launched by Falcon. They have to be launched by Starship. 